All right, so I'm bad at YouTube, and I forgot to do some intros and outros. Um, but so right now the the build is really coming to a close. Um, it's just all the small dumb stuff that we need to get done. So it's like in the intake cover, it's radiator shroud. Um, I don't even know intake, just stuff like that, like dumb little final touches. Um, and so we're getting through it, but we got to get through them one to buy one. And so this will be the video that kind of goes through. Some of them have been done already, um, but you know, I forgot to film the leading up to it. And so here it is now, but we are getting to it. So here you go. Here are the final touches. Okay, so here is, here's the beginning idea of the intake. Um, need a cone filter, preferably, but figure that out in a second, but this is the idea at least. So again, this is just to get it to California and then my brother can do whatever intake he wants, but I use just plexiglass. I just cut all the excess pieces out. There's another one back here, back here and right here that I didn't need. Chopped them, epoxied them in with plexiglass. And so I'll go in now, I'll sand all this ep epoxy down and uh, scuff it and paint it black. But I had to cut down a lot for clearance for this coolant hose. And so this is just some extra coolant hose sleeved over I'll just send a zip tie on it so it's just like a rub protection but uh yeah so next would be sanding all the excess scuffing spray painting it all black so it doesn't look so crappy but the most recent thing I did was I made this ECU mount plate. Um, I'll probably, I'm gonna clean it up and uh, paint it right now. But here is the gist of it. So it will mount in these two holes. I slotted it just to have some adjustment. So they'll screw in there. And then this ECU mount um, will bolt in. And then I didn't really know what to do with this pedal um, mount, so it kind of bolts on the outside. It's kind of a uh, kind of messy right now, but once I paint it, I'll mount it up and I'll uh, I'll come back. And this is something I just uh, designed on paper first, and then kind of uh, messed around with it um, in CAD. And then luckily at my work, there's a plasma uh, table, so I could cut it out. But I'll show you after I paint it. Okay, so we got it mounted up. As you can see, it just bolts in here. And then it's just got to bend. Mount this, mount the um, fuel pump relay, mounts it all together, clears the hood. And yeah, the things I would change about it, 
uh, besides not being like perfectly dimensioned. Um, I would have probably added some fillets here, some around the corners. And then this, I had, it's hard to see now that I painted black. This was just in the DXF, I had it cut um, this like little rectangle out and do a relief cut so I could bend it easier, but I didn't know where the line, the hole was gonna line up. So I'm not super stoked that it doesn't like perfectly line up here. I had to slot this, um, but I mean, it's good enough, super solid and it mounts just this factory, um, this factory ECU mount I just got from Summit. Yep, just bolts right in here. There's another bolt here. There's another bolt down at the bottom, but uh, it's right behind the plug and so I didn't deal with it. You know, it doesn't matter. It's tight anyway, it's not moving anywhere. Out of the way and I mean, I think it's tucked pretty nicely. It kind of hides kind of the mess of wiring. I have some more sleeving. I'll probably throw under all these exposed ones. But uh, yeah, one more thing buttoned up. Now that I finished up the, uh, the, can't even think, ECU mount. Now, started busting out this intake cover. I had to cut a ton out of it because the hood with this um, cover, it just sits too low when it was hitting. And these are made to sit really high on it anyway. So I took it and I just chopped, you know, just so much out of it. But the problem is, because it doesn't have this pedestal, it's not centered on this hole anymore, right? And it's just like resting. So I just threw this in CAD real quick, 3D printed it. Um, the 3D printer is really cheap. It's just like a $300 uh, Ender Pro. Or this, sorry, this one was specifically an Ender, not a Pro. And so I didn't quite level the bed correctly as well as I wanted. So the top has a kind of a bad finish on it, but it's just something to center in that hole and then you cinch it down. So it's it's got a nice little fit on it. So pull it back out. So this is how much I chopped out of this. But as you can see, it comes up here. It's got a tight, tight fit. I should probably clean that little bit off. Um, but now, I can just toss it on and bolt it down and at least something will be keeping it. Um, yeah, I mean, maybe I'll sand this down. Um, the problem is without doing like body filler, it won't really come out that clean. It'll be kind of fuzzy if I sanded it, but it is kind of annoying that, I don't know. It's a cheap printer. I don't know, you know, can't expect too much, but uh, it's a, uh, it's a solution, it's one more thing buttoned up. And as you can see here, I uh, got the intake all painted after I glued off all the plexiglass. I'm trying to think of anything else that I might have covered, might not have covered. Um, I need to cut this, because that's a bunch of extra. That's ugly. Yeah, I don't know, it's coming together. Before I forget, like a lot of the other videos that I haven't finished, um, I got this done I want to glue it so it doesn't kind of probably glue it but anyway so I redesigned this I didn't really like how it was one bolt it was like a hex head at the very top it kind of looked weird and so I actually found this in my bolt bin this is from a BMW I want to say an E39 window regulator um, and so it's just a Torx with a big flat washer so I just redesigned this little piece and now it sits a little bit better. I mean, it doesn't completely match and I need to touch up the paint on the actual bolt and washer, but it does sit a lot flatter and looks a lot better. So that's one more thing checked off.
another final touch while I'm here. Um, these brake lines are pretty close to this header. And so just preemptive, I know this is gonna heat up and it'll probably boil the brake fluid or whatever. So just gonna, I wrapped it with this uh, fiberglass wrap. So hopefully it helps. I mean, it's better than nothing. I was thinking of doing a metal shield here, but there's not a lot of room and trying to figure out where to mount it would just be a pain. So we'll see how this goes. Um, and if it doesn't work, then we'll figure it out. Something else, but yeah. Okay, so as you can see, we got a lot done. Uh, still some things left, you know, final drive or first drive and uh, whatever other issues come up, but um, getting them done. Things are getting buttoned up, which is nice. It's nice to see this coming to a close. Um, it feels like it's been a long time, but it really has only been, you know, a summer. And so, um, yeah, it'll be nice to see this thing out and going and, you know, being able to go highway speeds up a hill. I mean, that's the end goal, right? So, yeah, we're getting there. So thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.